Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Sal Mahajan. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look into Amazon Key Spaces. So let's dive right into the video. So firstly, we're going to talk about what is Amazon Key Spaces. It's a fully managed Apache Cassandra database in the AWS cloud. So again, if you have any um, on-prem or are you working with an Apache Cassandra database that you're looking to move to Amazon, Amazon Key Spaces is your um, service that you would be looking to move to. It is highly available. It supports auto scaling. It also supports replication across multiple availability zones. That's where it gets its high availability from. It provides single digit latency. So the latency is very, very, very less. And you have two capacity modes on which you can deploy your Amazon key spaces or your Apache Cassandra database in the AWS cloud. First being the provisioned and third, uh, second being your on demand. Of course, if you do choose the provisioned one, you have to pay some X amount of money, but on demand is pay as you go. So this was a very small overview related to Amazon Key Spaces. The only thing to remember is that it is a managed Apache Cassandra database. So now let's dive into a demo on um, how can you create an Amazon Key Spaces database on the AWS console. Okay guys, so I am on the AWS console over here. Um, as you can see, I'm on the Amazon Key Spaces dashboard. We're quickly gonna go ahead and click on Key Spaces on the left tab and we are going to click on Create Key Space. We can give any name that we uh, wish to give. So I'm just gonna give the same thing that's provided over there, Key Space. Um, you can choose your um, replication strategy. Do you want a multi-region replication or a single region? Of course, if you do choose multi-region, you will have additional costs. So I'm just gonna stick with a single region replication. You can see it is replicated across multiple availability zones in the same single region. I'm gonna leave the tags as optional and it is pretty straightforward. It just creates a query for you that is create key space with this key space name that you have provided with with a replication and you are able to um, quickly create your key space and there you go you guys can see that my key space has been created then of course you can come into amazon key space and you can start creating your tables so it's a pretty straightforward process on how can you create a key space database um, in the cloud so I hope you guys um, did like this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, do subscribe and do comment if there are any other topics out there that you guys would like me to cover. I hope you guys have a great day ahead. See ya. Take care. Bye bye.